Mastering the right developer skills is just half of the work done if you want to become a successful software developer. If you don't have connections in the software industry, it can become incredibly difficult to find your way through. So how do you make a strong network in the software industry? Software development is constantly growing industry, especially within the United States. With thousands of jobs on the market and many more thousands coming in the next 10 years, it's just the right time to master your development skills if you want to make a successful career out of it. When it comes to developing these skills, there are numerous institutes, colleges, universities, and boot camps that teach you the right tools. Moreover, courses like Udemy, Coursera, and platforms like GitHub have made it really simple to learn essential software skills. But unfortunately, that's not always enough to get you a job. The thing is having solid developer skill set is critical to your chances, but you can only show your skills once you get into the interview stage. So how do you get to the interview stage? In this video, I'll talk about the essential tips to help you connect with industry professionals and employers more effectively. Interestingly, talking to employers isn't always enough to land you a job interview. It takes a lot more than that. So what more can you do to get the right networking techniques to give you the best chances for success? Let's find out. So first off, what's networking? Generally, people think networking as a means to get what they want from employers and industry personnel. But this is not the true definition of networking at all. If you want to become a successful professional, think of what value you can provide to the employers or the ones that you want to connect with. This brings us to our first essential rule for effective networking, and that's figuring out your value. Think of what you can give most people. It can come in so many different ways, whether it's about being a team player, working well under pressure, or having in-depth knowledge in a specific area. If you can figure out what makes you a valuable part of a company, you'll always come across as an appealing individual among everyone. So when you connect with an industry professional, you'll talk more about the skills that make you suitable for any job. Also, you won't come across as a needy person who just needs a job. Generally, it doesn't create a good impression for you if you directly ask a person for a possible job opening. So there are fewer chances of getting that interview call. So where should you go for networking? If you want to develop a strong network from a job opening, make sure to attend tech seminars, local developer meetups, and webinars. There you'll find many industry professionals who talk to young developers and students about job prospects and skills required for the industry. So just go to the speaker after the session and have a small casual talk. Ask them interesting and well thought questions about the industry, tools, and frameworks that they're experts in. You don't want to ask right away about job openings. You need to build rapport first with them and show that you're knowledgeable as well. Likewise, if you're a college student, make sure to attend hackathons, coding challenges, and presentations. Generally, competitions present opportunities to interact with software companies and entrepreneurs who are looking for fresh graduates and young candidates for their companies. Whether you're in an elevator or walking around an event, just a casual interaction could lead to immense opportunities. So don't let the opportunity go by. Sometimes the best people to talk to are other professionals attending the conference rather than the speakers themselves. Your next option is virtual networking platforms. As the virtual platforms are concerned, you can't look past LinkedIn because it has virtually every professional that you might be looking for. It's one of the easiest ways to interact with like-minded people through various software development focus groups. Likewise, use your social media accounts to link and discuss with other professionals. You need to be interactive and contribute to thoughtful discussions. Make yourself a familiar presence in the discussions about areas of your interests. Then you can start thinking more strategically about reaching out to other for job openings and interviews. I also suggest I'm making an account on meetup.com. This is a cool place to hang out and it gives you a chance to become a part of a local group that are searching on similar topics like you. More importantly, it has a geographical element, which means that you can always remain informed about the latest tech related activities in your area. Your next option is to host tech groups. This is an advanced little networking hack. Instead of looking for an event, why not create your own? Become the host of a networking event. When you host events, you get better access to industry professionals who attend such events. So there's a better opportunity of making a more effective first impression as a young software developer. More importantly, the more events you host, the more professionals you'll meet. As a result, you will know most people from the industry and what networking is all about. But is it easy to execute an event? No, not at all, but you don't have to start big. The least you can do is organize an event in your area. Don't be surprised when several people turn up to your event. After all, they're looking for the same thing that you are. What gives you a competitive advantage is that you're the host. 
So people will listen to you more and probably give more attention to you. As a result, you come across as more appealing figure that might be able to land a job interview. Next, volunteer for tech events. Participation in tech events doesn't always have to be as a guest. You can volunteer for an event or become an organizer. This way you'll meet more professionals and create a better understanding of the industry. Lastly, don't get frustrated. Networking isn't too difficult, but it surely takes time. So you must be patient and willing to continue even when the road seems tough. Like anything else, you don't build a large network overnight. Moreover, it's not just about getting a job. So keep making stronger network even when you're well-placed. Similarly, don't get bogged down when things are not going your way. The key is to be persistent and the right moment will come your way eventually. At times, a job opportunity comes from the sources you least expect. So give yourself every chance of landing a software developer job. Some people say your network is your net worth. So make sure there are loads of connections on your profile. Eventually, you will end up where you always wanted to be. Next, what not to do in networking. Well, I'm gonna discuss some basic things you should avoid when attempting to build a network in the software industry. Here's a quick list. First, don't start networking only when you need a job. Instead, keep adding new connections all the time. Connecting with someone only when you need a job is perhaps the worst time to build a new connection. Next, don't rush it. Networking is about building a relationship, which always takes time. It might start with a simple hi, then a casual hangout, and eventually turn into a business meeting. So you must advance through these levels instead of jumping directly to the end. Next, networking needs to be investment of time and sometimes money too. So don't be shy in hosting or attending a networking event or arranging a dinner for some professionals. Now that you know how to properly network, you should watch my video on the top skills needed to become a successful software engineer to further increase your likelihood of taking your career to the next level. See you in there.